Holy crap, was that a good movie. I just came back from seeing Detective Pikachu, and I'm just blown away on how detailed uh, it was. I mean, I guess it's no surprise if the trailer was any good, then obviously the movie would be, you know, a couple times better because it's actually the full content. I gotta say, though, other than the, um, you know, the fine detail and all that good stuff that went into the movie, uh, the beginning scenes with the uh, acting portion of it before uh, Ryan Reynolds' character, Pikachu, obviously, comes in. Uh, I just thought the acting was a bit lacking. It, it just seemed like social interactions between the characters were very, um, it was just very forced in a way, and it, and it didn't really flow well like how normal people actually talk to each other. I guess that's maybe me coming at more of a cynical standpoint when it comes to communicating with people. But regardless, uh, the characters evolved, kind of like Pokemon when you think about it, um, and, and as the story progressed, and it was also great to see the actors kind of develop their skills a little bit as the movie progressed, because I have a feeling that when they were recording the first scenes for re the whole recording process, it was just the beginning scenes of the movie, if that makes sense, you know, like the the first scenes that they, uh, um, I'll repeat that, the first scenes that they got down, you know, like that they, um, I guess the actors, the, the first scenes that they captured were the first scenes sh shown and seen in the movie. Um, because after that, the, the characters kind of, I, I don't know, the male and female character kind of got, um, more comfortable in their roles, I guess. But I guess it doesn't really matter because the Pokemon and CGI and all the, um, just the designs in general carried the whole film. The whole Pokemon franchise and universe done correctly. Like, they could have had even worse actors, and I still would have loved it. And that's that's the beauty of the, um, the Pokemon franchise, and that's the beauty of the fans that are so passionate about getting it right because there are a thousand ways to get it wrong. Look at Sonic the Hedgehog. I guess maybe one major disappointment that um, I wanted to see happen was uh, I wanted to see a Drift Blim use Minimize and then crawl up Thanos' ass and then use Stockpile to expand outward so that you could rupture Thanos from within. That would have been that would have made the most excellent movie ever. A good conclusion to the universe. But yeah, man, the Easter eggs were everywhere. There were so many cool posters, and I talked about this in one of my earlier videos, like a month ago. I haven't made one of these talkie videos in over a month. And uh, I kind of wonder if I'm cut out for that kind of stuff because, I don't know, I like talking about stuff, but it, it's only stuff that pertains to Pokemon for the most part. And any other stuff that I like talking about will probably get me, like, deplatformed or shadow banned. And I don't want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen. But, you know, regardless, uh, it, and there's plenty of PokeTuber channels, you know? I don't know if I'm like, I could shred with the big dogs talking about Pokemans all the time. I could. You know, if I could make this my number one living in the world, I quit my day job, okay? Just to to learn you all a thing about Pokemons. Because it's, it's the only consistently happy thing in my life. And that's not even coming from a depressed person, because... You know, it, it's just it's just how life is. Life is pretty awful, and Pokemon seems to be they seem to have that utopian uh, uh, understanding everybody's feelings kind of mentality, and we're not at that point yet. 
You know, I mean, even the the bad guys like Team Rocket, Jesse and James, they still have empathy. I mean, look at James. Anytime he he gets a new Pokemon, it's out of pure empathy for the for that Pokemon and how they're feeling. Like, I, I mean, even look at like Mime Jr. Why Mime Jr. goes along with James because he has such affection and love for his Chimeco, and Mime Jr. caught on to that shit. Okay, and he was just like, you know what? This guy seems like a good guy. He needs a friend. I'm gonna pop into his Pokeball. That sounds gross. And and I'm gonna be on his team. And I'm gonna. He he was kind of annoying after like, you know, the first like three episodes of him on the team. But that's that's all. I I hated Pokemon Battle Frontier as an anime series. You know for a bunch of different reasons the voice actors were all new and getting used to their role the animation quality was probably outsourced to some third world country and because the budget is so poor and awful looking i mean it ended up kicking up kicking off after diamond and pearl and they rebooted it was like a soft reboot but that's a that's a whole other discussion and I feel like that's where the anime trailed off. But anyways, um, you know, looking at every parameter of Pokemon, though, and have that being compiled into this live actiony, realistic looking movie, it's just, you did it. You won me over. And it's weird, too, because uh, Pokemon used to be paired with, um, with four kids, which is... Uh, I think they're, like, with the Warner Brothers Studios. Um, it, it's, like, some Christian group, last I recall. Everybody hated 4Kids, except the only thing that I personally miss about 4Kids was the, were the original voice actors that are probably bound to that contract to this day that Warner Brothers owns them. And that's why they had to recast everybody when they branched off of the Warner Brothers company. But despite all of that and the four kids being kind of crappy to anime as a whole, I do kind of miss them for the sake that, you know, uh, for, for all the original voice actors that were on Pokemon. And it's weird, too, because, like, usually, like, whenever I think of, like, a Warner Brothers Studios adaptation of, a, of some kind of franchise, like DC... You know, Justice League isn't really doing as well as uh, the Marvel Universe. But, uh, you know, they're trying. And they're not getting it right. They're not really getting anything uh, right as much. And, it, and it's not having that same popularity as the Marvel Universe has. But I have a feeling that uh, Pokemon is going to be their ringer. Not, not uh, the Justice League. Solely because Detective Pikachu is just, they got everything right. I don't know what else to say. It's hard to review a movie that's like, meets all of your criteria. Um, I mean, like, yeah, the acting could have been better. Um, you know, I feel like, yeah, I feel like the pacing as far as the, the I didn't really learn the names of the, protagonist i i usually have to watch a movie like 10 times in order to know the names of everybody uh the the names of the protagonists the the whole chemistry between the the male and female protagonist is it's kind of shaky at first like i said before but it uh it um it got better it, maybe it was it's just one of those like uh oh awkward get to know you type phases and it kind of made me cringe because I could relate to that. <laughs> it, and it's not with the opposite sex. It's, it's just with people in general. People are uh, very awkward it, getting to know them on a, in a formal manner. One thing that I wanted to talk about on this channel was, uh, and I think Verlissify actually talked about this, it was uh, something pertaining to... Um, Pokemon potentially being a uh, universe, like a Pokemon movie universe, kind of like Marvel is doing now, or did. 
because uh, I don't know what the state of Marvel is going to be, because uh, Infinity Wars and that whole saga and the end game was uh, pretty finite. If you haven't seen it, you know, I don't, I'm not going to spoil it um, by any means, but it, it's uh, it's a uh, it's an ending. It is an end game. Hence the title. It's the end. And uh, I don't know where they're going to go from there. They could probably retire because they made over a billion dollars in like a weekend. But, um, you know, going back to Pokemon, if Pokemon starts a whole new uh, movie series of live action -y type of things, that would be the best thing has ever happened in my life. I don't know what I would do. Be a lot of news coverage too. Because that's what that's the economy of YouTube now. It's news coverage. We're all a bunch of newsy type of people. And I don't want to be a channel that's like, oh, I want to get the hot button thing that's like recent. That was like an hour ago. Like uh right now there's like drama about James Charles and I don't care. I, I mean, like, I wish I did care. Um, you know, he seems like a nice guy. And, uh, you know, I don't... You know, I don't wish anything bad on anybody. But, you know, you don't apologize for somebody attacking your character when you know that, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. Don't... You, you gotta stand firmly on your two feets. Two feetses. And, uh, you know, just uh, move on, I guess. I guess it's tough when you're in it and you don't know what to do because you got like 14 million subscribers and everybody's looking at you. Yeah, that's tough. I, I couldn't deal with that. I'd rather have like max out at like 10,000 subscribers and, uh, you know, just have people give me like a dollar donation every month. That'd be cool. That'd be ideal. That's enough for me, you know, because the whole ad revenue thing on YouTube is pretty much dead. It's been dead for a while. And the whole algorithmic thing is bought and sold like commerce. And, uh, you know, if I stop, if I stop this channel, I'm probably going to be discovered like five years later when I'm doing something else completely irrelevant. And uh, I've moved on from YouTube. But, you know, that, and, and I'm noticing that on my newsfeed more on YouTube where people are beginning to discover YouTubers that have been long, long gone for a while. And I sometimes wonder if they're being censored or, or if they're just not being allowed to be seen until they've given up. That's a little depressing thought to think about, but I, I got to get back to Pokemon here. What could potentially come about in the new Pokemon universe, if hypothetically that was a thing? I'd like to see a Pokemon Ranger movie. I'd like to see uh, uh, maybe an XD Gale of Darkness or Coliseum-esque um, type of game. You know, anything that's like a spin-off, because that's what Detective Pikachu was, was a spin-off. So... You know, who's to say that they're not going to do that as well? Make a spin-off, uh, you know, make a sp another spin-off movie, basically. Like, um, okay, I found it. It's Pokemon Conquest. Pokemon Conquest. Wouldn't that be cool to see? A Pokemon Conquest live-action movie. That would be nice. Or even Pokemon Channel. Actually, I don't, I don't know. That's a little... That's 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 a little too ambitious. Wouldn't be that interesting because it's about watching TV. You're watching a movie about watching TV. That's a uh, it's too much like Inception, I think. But I, it'd be cool to see Pokemon Ranger become a movie or Pokemon Coliseum, because they're, you know, I hate saying it, but they're probably not going to make a third game for the for the Coliseum series, even though I want one. I want a goddamn Pokemon Coliseum third movie. Make it a trilogy. Come on, make it happen. Because, like, you know, I'm, I don't want to spoil it, but there's, like, this there's like this goop, 
Well, it's not a goop. There's like this substance that makes Pokemon turn all evil and stuff. And I wonder if that was something that came from the Ori region. That would be a another cool thing to add into the Pokemon lore. What is this this stuff that makes Pokemon, you know, like cracked out of their minds basically? But that, you know, that's all I'm gonna give away as far as uh um the movie spoilers go. What else is there? I, I guess there's not that many spin-off games that have an inter interesting story to them. But maybe they could do something like... Jeez, uh, I don't know. Maybe like Pokemon Go as like a movie. That could be interesting. Pokemon Go as a movie. And just have the uh, adventure of uh, Candela, Blanche, and Spark catching some Pokemons for uh, Professor Willow and have them all be like the, uh, you know, have them all take on the persona that all the fans created them as. That would be interesting to see uh, as a live, as another live action Warner Brothers based uh, Pokemon universe thing. But it's just weird. You never think, you know, Ever since four kids died out and, uh, you know, Warner Brothers kind of seceded from the Pokemon company, um, I assumed that that was it between the bonds between the Pokemon company and Warner Brothers, but I guess they're in on good terms, I guess. Um, I, I, I guess so, man. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up for now. Um, I know I didn't see it opening night, but that's I don't care about seeing movies right when they come out cuz I I don't know. I I I I get the hype. I definitely do, but I I think it leaves people high and dry for the next thing. I can make a rant video about that too. But uh, I'm going to be over 20 minutes if I continue ranting about all this stuff. But um, as a little takeaway, and uh, or not a takeaway, but just a, I'm going to leave you all with a question here. Uh, other than Pikachu, and other than like the main character Pokemons that were in Detective Pikachu, what were some of the favorite Pokemons that you saw? For me personally, I kind of liked Morlul. Just how it was bioluminescent looking. And another takeaway I could ask of you is, what was your least favorite Pokemon in the uh, roster? Other than, you know, the main character Pokemon. Um, I'd say my least favorite uh, Pokemon in the movie was like either... It's, it was, it's like a tie between Gengar and Loudred. For some reason, I just didn't like them and the I mean they were probably I mean they were kind of anatomically correct to and true to the franchise but uh, I just didn't like their implementation into it as much I guess their implementation could have been more effective in the uh, universe of Pokemon if they uh, I don't know if they tried something different other than having having it be in like a, a street fight scene um you know, maybe make plug a loudred in into like an eighth inch adapter to like output balanced audio or something. Have them actually be practical in the whole. Uh, I guess need for uh, um audio audio technology. I suppose that would be funny. You know, cause cause there was a scene with like a studio. And uh, a bunch of tech stuff. And I was like, you know, why, why don't you just use, like, literally the speaker Pokemon to, to, um, that's like a megaphone. That would, that would have been funny. And, uh, I guess I, I didn't really like Gengar's design as much. Maybe it's because they're both purple. And I don't really care for the color purple. Nah, that's probably not it. 
I don't know. Maybe I got to watch the movie again just to be sure. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you all thought of the movie. And uh, I thought it was great, man. Just uh, just so peachy. It was uh, so many Easter eggs. I'm not going to go through all the Easter eggs in that movie. It, it was stressful trying to trying to pinpoint all of them. But that's uh, that might be another adventure awaiting us but i'd see it again i definitely see it again just just to find all the 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 nuggets that are in the whole franchise um in rhyme city that is i don't really know how to end this video so i'm just gonna be like leave your comments down below and give me a like or subscribe if you like me if you don't that's fine that's fine. I won't take it personally. If you all leave, I get it. I've been, I've been, I've lost a bunch of friends before. I could do it again. I could be, I'm strong. I could be independent. We don't need no man. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. So, bye.